going on guys? Jim the Game Guru, and I have not watched the Indie World Showcase yet, so I figured I've seen it now here on the news section of my Switch. I'll go ahead and rip through here and take a look. Go through this little journey here and see what we see what amazingness lies in store for us. I wonder if there's going to be some that are like really substantial, if they're all going to be like these little mobile games that are being pushed across. Hopefully not. Uh, is this Spelunky? Yeah. Alright, meh. It's got a different art style than the than the one I played earlier on like the, the PS4. The one I played on the PS4 was a little more pixelated. That one's a little bit more cartoony like. I'm never a big huge fan of Sp Spelunky games. But this one does look a little interesting with some of the characters, some of the enemies. It doesn't look so cave oriented. It's, it's very like even with, like trees and stuff. All right. Well, that one's had kind of a little bit of a mobile look to it. I'm hoping the next one's not going to be as. I would, I'm really curious on the co-op as aspect of those games to see if they're any good to play with like kids. God, this reminds me of Goat Simulator with cats. <laughs> Remember the goat simulator where you have to move the stupid goat and you can never move it right and he was like it's kinda, this is, it reminds me of the same thing with cats. Yeah, this is probably gonna be a hard pass for me. I love when people put that, the possibilities are endless. Mmm, I don't know, I think it just ended with me on the first preview of this video. <laughs> yeah, now we're starting to get in this trend where like a lot of games are kinda starting to look like this kind of very team 17 type games I mean that's one of the questions I would ask on this as soon as I see it I'm like oh is this a team 17 game but it's not I still have no idea what the title of the game is called okay it's a looks like it looks like a brawler but I can't tell if it's like real-time action or if it's like, um, they're not really showing that aspect. They're not showing that part where, yeah, you know, you just, you can move freely or if it's turn-driven. Okay, so it is, it is kind of free-roaming brawler. From what, from, from that screen it was. I mean, I do like brawlers. Brawlers are fun. That character looked like, looked like the character from Manhattan Time. I don't, I wonder if they partnered to get that. Here you go, some old, classic, retro-inspired. This is giving me crazy Ninja Gaiden uh, vibes. It looks cool. I like the pixel art, no doubt. Music. Cyber Shadow. Okay. Well, something to look for. I hope that game is cheap. If this game right here is 19.99, it's going to be a game breaker. I'm hoping it's like 9.99 or 6.99. But this one looks like it's more it's more of a classic platforming instead of having like kind of what the messenger was doing where at certain parts you have to slash in order to jump again. Alright. I'll be definitely looking out for that one. Uh this is weird. So all you do is you grab animals and things and you bring them back to the house and put them in there. Really? Nintendo Switch. I don't mind this look if if the game is really solid and it's just a, it's like a purely amazing game. And if this one's like pure 3D world like this, and you can go anywhere you want, because this could be actually really cool. This looks very relaxing. It looks like a very relaxing game. You just kind of just go around and... Oh, it's a game with a mission. It's a game with an eco mission. And I haven't seen anything like... Amazing yet super awesome just knock my socks off. Oh tell me this is not like an anime love story game. There's just five thousand of these on the switch. It was this is this cyberpunk or is this like man these game these type of games just don't they don't attract me at all. I mean I think the artwork is really cool. I mean it's a it's actually very stunning artwork. But they don't really show you too much about the game, and it's like, it just looks like a dialogue simulator. I, I, I can't, each playthrough takes between 5 and 15 minutes to complete. So it's in like quick bursts here, 5 to 15 minutes, repeat, do it again. It's like a roguelite with like no real substance. So it's a shame, because this game, the, the art in this game looks sick. I love, love the art in this game. But, man, that gameplay in this game, I can tell, is probably going to be terrible. 
I mean, if they're not showing any of it and they're hiding it, ooh, you know, me no like ye. This looks like Binding of Isaac style, but it's probably not. Reminds me a little bit of Binding of Isaac, the way the the character is. So it's a puzzle game. Tasks and puzzles e equal puzzle. Super Meat Boy Forever. I thought that was already on the Switch, wasn't it? Am I like imagining things? This is one game I have not played yet, Super Meat Boy. I mean, I've seen gameplay of it. Okay, so I guess it was it was never out. Oh, mm. Another puzzle, but it doesn't. This doesn't look too attractive, though. This is one of those games that you can't. You're not gonna be able to really tell how good it is. I mean, like, there's a lot of games like, oh, you know, that's a hard pass, because it's garbage, it's probably not going to be good. This is one I can't tell by looking at it, but it, it I'm just going to have to do a quick playthrough of it to see if it's any good. It doesn't look too good based on that video. I'm getting a little worried now because these are not, like, super stunning games that I'm seeing here. It's kind of, ooh. That game kind of reminded me of Child of Light, the way she was floating there. See, these quick videos at the very end, I feel like some of these games I would rather see more than the ones that they showcased. Like, like, I'd rather see this Hazel Sky and the one before it, and the one that they were on the raft with the four people fighting. This, I mean, I'd rather see more detailed video of this, and this, than, I, than the ones that they showed. Like the, the ones that they showed in detail, or lack of detail for some of them. Yeah, I mean, mm, come on. Have a surprise, have a big surprise at the end. Please be something, they always do the surprise. There is an imposter. <laughs> okay, my daughter would love this. She will love this. She will get this and, ins and install it and play it on the Switch. She already she's already playing it on her on her mobile phone. It doesn't surprise me that this is coming. We gotta figure out who it is before. It's such a popular game. Well, now she can play it on her phone and on her Switch. Ugh. Okay, uh, that was a little rough. I feel like a lot of the other indie world showcases were were better, and some of them had some rough games. But this one was uh, this one was a little rough. I feel like they like as if they didn't have anything really to show, and they're like, well, we we got to show something. Yeah, that was that was a rough one. Um, man, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like the games toward the end, where they have the really quick clips of everything, was just those are the games that I would rather have seen in up front. That with the developer and kind of going in detail and showing things in detail. And I, I just, I feel like because um, the other games with the one you're carrying something into your house and you're just stuffing things in your house, and the cats are the kind of goat simulator one. I don't know. I feel like that was it was just such a rough one. I'm not. I wasn't a big fan of that one. That that, that was actually. I'm, let's let's pray that the one in January or February, whenever the next one is, is going to be a whole lot better.